In today's video, we are going to talk about Linux versus Windows versus Mac. So first of all, I'll start with Linux. Well, this is the interface and this is how it looks like. With every Linux distribution, you will get different interface. Because we have more than 100 Linux distributions available and I'm using Ubuntu at the moment. This is the interface of Ubuntu. If you go with Fedora, you will have a different one. If you go with Pop OS, Endeavor OS, Garuda Linux, and if you go with any other Linux distribution, you will get a different interface. But that is not the case with Windows or Mac. Now I'll talk about the default applications. As I'm using Ubuntu, so I'll talk about it. Well, we get different default applications like you will get in most of the Linux distribution a browser as a Mozilla Firefox and in terms of your email client, you will get Thunderbird Mail as your email client and you will get some extra utility in almost every Linux distribution and for your documents, you will get LibreOffice. So this is the case with almost every Linux distribution, but most of the Linux distributions believe in minimalistic approach which means they only gives you a limited number of application and they want user to download and install those application they want. Now I'll talk about the games. Well, we have some of the Linux distributions that are primarily designed for gaming. For example, Pop OS, Endeavor OS, Garuda Linux. These are some Linux distributions that are designed for gaming. In Windows and Mac, we do not have this concept. And in most of the Linux distribution, we get default support of Steam. It means you can download that engine and you can play different games onto your Linux distributions. As you can see here, we have Steam installer available in here. So it means we can install this Steam engine and we can play different games. Now I'll talk about the cost. Well, Linux distributions are free. As they are open source, that is why they are free to use. Almost all the Linux distributions that are out there, you can download them for free and you can use them onto your systems and even if you are using it for your PCs, for your servers or for your mainframe computers, they are free. Now I'll talk about the security. Well, this is one feature where Linux is way ahead than any other operating system out there because Linux is open source and because of that, it is very secured and you will not see any problem with respect to security while using Linux. Now I'll talk about the terminal. Well, Linux provide us with the terminal. Here it is. I will just open this one. And along with terminal, we have bash in our Linux as well. And it defines how the terminal will behave and how to look when it run. Well, basically with the help of terminal, you will do more than 90% of your work in your Linux distribution. If I say that Linux distributions are terminal oriented operating system, it wouldn't be wrong. Yes, there are some things that you can do with the help of GUI and your mouse and your keyboards, but majority of the task will be done from terminal and with your commands. So that was all about the Linux and now I'll shift to my windows and let's see what do we have there. This is my windows and this is its interface. Well, you will get each interface with each version of windows. This is windows 10 and this is the default or you can say this is the official interface of Windows 10. We do not have any concept just like Linux distribution where we have multiple distribution with different interfaces. We only get one version and this is Windows 10 and this is how it looks like. At the dock or you can say at the taskbar, this is our start button. Here we have time and date and here we'll have all the notifications and then we have some other utilities. This is my start button. If I just click on it, it will open all the applications into my system. So this is how its interface looked like. Now if I talk about the default applications, I will just press my super key or I can press my start button. Well, these are some of the applications. By default, we get Microsoft Edge by default. And now with Windows 11, we are getting Microsoft Office by default for free. It comes pre-installed. And not only that, we are also getting Microsoft Teams with Windows 11 by default. So these are some of the default application with Windows. For example, for your music player, we get Windows Media Player. And I have already talked about what do we have in terms of our documents. We do not get Microsoft Office with Windows 10, but with Windows 11, it comes by default. So these are some of the default applications. Now I'll talk about the games. Well, this is where Windows is way ahead than Linux. Games availability is one of the bigger factor with related to Windows because you will get a lot of games for free 
on to your windows operating system and there are some servers or you can say some third party website that offers you to download free games and not only that steam engine xbox and many other engines are supported for windows and as windows has covered more than 85 percent of the market for users that is why the games developer make their game for windows operating system primarily and this is where windows is way ahead in terms of games availability now i'll talk about the cost while well, windows operating system is not free and it is not open source yes there are some ways that people follow to download it for free and they use it pirated version but in terms of cost it is not free as linux distributions now i'll talk about the security well as windows operating system is not open source that is why it is very vulnerable to third party trojans spyware malwares etc and yes there are some firewalls or you can say some antivirus tool that people use but still windows is vulnerable in terms of security now i'll talk about the terminal well in windows we get a terminal command prompt and basically it's a black box ideally used to execute commands let me search for it i will just write here cmd and here we have command prompt other than that we also get powershell in windows i will just write here powershell here it is i will just open this one this is how it looks like so from here you can execute different commands into your system unlike linux distributions we do most of the work by keyboard and our mouse onto our windows operating system we use our command prompt or our PowerShell for very limited purposes and because of that windows is very user friendly and a lot of people opt for window because you do not have to run different commands in order to use it so that was all about the windows and now i'll talk about the mac first of all again i'll start with the interface well this is how it looks like at the top left corner we get some of the options and on the top right corner we get some of the utilities time and date and we'll have all the notification related to our system as well in here now at the bottom at the dock we have some of the applications that are docked in here you can unpin some of them and you can pin your favorite applications in here as well if we talk about the default application well if we compare mac with windows and linux we get most number of default application with our mac as you can see we have our mail we have our safari as a web browser we have facetime for video calling we have app store just like microsoft store or ubuntu software center and then for our music we have our music application we have photos and we have many more application so in terms of default application mac is way ahead than linux and windows now i'll talk about the games well this is where mac is little bit behind than windows operating system because all the gamers or all the game developer do not make their games initially for mac operating system as windows cover more than 85 percent of the market share that is why a lot of games are intended for windows and there is only minor number of games that is intended for mac that is why mac is not suitable for gaming now let's talk about the cost well mac or macintosh is a series of computer that is designed by apple and runs on mac os the first one was released in 1984 currently it has 10 percent of users share in the market and mac os can be brought separately as well as at a cost so if you buy a mac machine you will get mac operating system by default in it now let's talk about the security while apple does not compromise on its security it has impenetrable security layers which provide extra protection from third party organizations and viruses and this is one of the reason why people opt for mac than windows and mac also allows you the option of disabling att which means app tracking transparency so that you don't have to go through personalized ads or feel like being spied upon at the end i'll talk about the terminal well in mac it provides us with a console as a terminal let me just search for that i will just write here terminal into my system here it is i will just enter it this is how it looks like well you will use it for typing and running different commands and a command line is used to type your commands and prompt will provide you with some information and also enable you to run your different commands but majority of your work you will be doing with the help of your user interface 
or let's say your keyboard and mouse in very rare cases you will be using your terminal so i will just close this one and that's it for our mac and that also brings us to the end of today's video i hope now that now you must have an idea about the differences between these three type of operating system if that is the case please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon i'll get back to you in the next video till then take care